how's everybody doing today? Nice to see you all. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Very nice to have the pleasure of your company today for a fab female founder-led fashion talk. Lots of Fs. I was just saying to our friends here on Instagram, I'm going to be joined by one of my favourite female founders, actually, Alice, who founded Asquith London, which is a really fabulous leisure wear brand. I wear it all the time. You've probably seen it all over my social media. This is from their new collection. Isn't this pretty? This really lovely, what is it, like a kind of a daisy print top. Um, anyway, we're going to be talking about sustainable fabrics and ethics in fashion. So something a little bit different, as well as showcasing some of their latest collection, which is uh, just a joy to behold. So I'm very, very thrilled to be with you today talking about that. And in fact, Asquith produce a lot of things for yoga and Pilates. And the, the idea behind it basically is that you can have really fun things that you can wear that will literally take you from the exercise class right the way through to travel, to just lounge wear, that whole new category of lounge wear that we've discovered, haven't we, recently? And did you know that it is International Yoga Day? There you go. So I'm wearing my, my yoga pants from Asquith, which I love because they're nice and high-waisted and they are full of really good stretch. So they suck you in, which is not a bad thing. Oh yes, and the kittens. Okay, the kittens. So before I get joined by Alice, quick update on the kittens. Those of you who aren't on Instagram will not know what I'm talking about, but we do have two new members of the family, which you will see on my Instagram over at Lizelle Me. Little tiny wee bundles of fluff balls, my two new fur babies. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the suggestions for names. There have been some fantastic suggestions. Um, I've got a little, a little girl who is white with a little black face and a little boy who is much fluffier, who's grey and he's got a white tip on the end of his tail. Really cute. There have been some fantastic suggestions as well as some quite bizarre ones. <laughs> I think cabbage and parsnip was possibly the most bizarre. Cleanse and polish, uh, Mork and Mindy, we've had salt and pepper, um, oh, George and Mildred, I mean, fantastic. They are really, uh, they're definitely well old enough to leave their mother, Alexia, no worries about that at all. All uh, Everything has been done in the proper guidelines, as you would expect, nothing else, obviously. Smoky and Smudge, yes, yeah, Smoky and Smudge, yeah, they are fully weaned. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, so top of the leaderboard at the moment, I rather like this suggestion for the little boy, Frank, uh, because he's got bright blue eyes. So old blue eyes, Frank, what do you think? I think that's quite a cute name for a cat. Uh, Flossie, that was, that was up there. Nancy, because of course you've got Nancy Sinatra, so we could have Frank and Nancy. Anyway, we are still, we're still collating names. So if you would like to go onto my Instagram, Liz L Me, and suggest a couple of names, take a look at their pictures, see who they look like. Um, and yeah, as I say, we have not yet decided, so it would be really good to have some more suggestions. Thank you. Right, let's see if Alice is in the house, Asquith, London, microbes and kombucha. Yeah, we had a lot of that. We had kombucha and kefir, kimchi and kefir, um, yeah, all sorts of good stuff. Hi! I got a very nice shot of your chin then. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so untechnical and I was panicking because I couldn't get the live sorted. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you do this every day. Can I just say, hats off to you because you make it look so easy. Oh, well, bless you. Thank you. I have spent almost my entire life doing live telly so it's kind of it's it's i love it and i love the interaction i love what's better than live tv right now is that of course doing this on social media you get all the comments yeah, so you get all the yeah, live yeah. chat from everybody which normally you know if you're sat in a studio even if you've got an earpiece in or whatever you've, you've no idea what viewers are thinking or how what they want to say so it's lovely that we have this sort of whole family global family of people who can comment obviously facebook you can pop your comments uh, on the screen you're not going to be able to see alice but you'll be able to hear everything that we have to say and of course my lovely instagram fam are always very vocal with their comments 
Um, did it's, you see that? It's an you... amazing skill. People don't realise until they do live. I did QVC once. Scared the life out of me. <laughs> I did QVC for like decades. Um, and I, lo I love it because uh, QVC is great. Uh, there's never any bad news on QVC, is there? Everybody's all very happy and shiny and telling you about lovely things. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to think very hard and very fast. I was with a presenter and she was very chatty and I slightly drifted off and I had to tell myself, you're on live TV, concentrate, concentrate. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I welcome here. Kittens. Oh, kittens. Oh, kittens. Oh, my little kittens. There's been some oh. fantastic combinations of names. Uh, what about, uh, we've got Boris and Carrie. So that could be uh, Frank and Nancy seems to be top of the top I of the leaderboard. I think Frank and Nancy is superb. Yeah, Frank and Nancy. I mean, she does look a little bit like a Nancy. I had a great friend in America called Nancy years and years ago. I haven't thought of that name for such a long time. Um, but yeah, old blue eyes. I think eyes. a great name. They're great names for cats. Oh. <laughs> Lucky you. Well, I, I have to say it was my youngest. And so when I got divorced, my, my ex got custody of the dogs. So I, I got the gerbil, um, but that's kind of not the same, really. <laughs> on that one. Yeah. I do love my gerbil. Actually, I had two oh, gerbils. Sorry. I had Ronnie and Reggie, uh, and alas, Reggie is no longer with us. So we still have Ronnie, although he's looking very elderly. And my youngest has been on and on and on at me for such a long time. You know, please, can we have kittens? Please, can we have fluffy kittens? And so when I heard this lady had um, her, her cat, her lovely family pet, had its first and only litter of these little kittens and she was looking for good homes, it just seemed to, seemed to be meant, really. Well, enjoy and keep them away from your jersey. Well, yes, those little sharp, <laughs> needly, needly little things. Little sharp claws. Uh, now, I am absolutely loving your new collection. How cool is this, this little sort of ballerina wrap? It it's, looks gorgeous on you. I it's really Japanese love it. Floral, so it's inspired by um, uh, Japanese flowers. It looks very pretty. Yeah, I mean, and, but what I love about all your things is that they wear so incredibly well. I mean, I was pulling out some of my collection before I was going to talk to you today. And, you know, I've just got a few bits here. And they, I've had them for years. You know, they last and last and last. It's, it's amazing. I don't know kind of how you make them or what you... Well, I know that you use interesting fabrics that we want to talk to you about, things like bamboo. But they really are made to last. They're good value, aren't they? Because so many of these like cheap leggings, you buy them and then they go all bobbly. And after you know six months, they, you know, they've got holes in them or they've worn out in patches. Exactly, exactly. Well, I know we're going to chat about sustainability and and what fast fashion is. And, and hopefully what I try and do with Asquith is be the antithesis of fast fashion. So it's pieces that you can wear. So I, I'm, you can't really see because I'm wearing a shirt today from Tamsel. You're wearing your top, which you could wear for yoga and Pilates. Or you could just wear it with jeans. Or just or wear it, absolutely. Or, yeah, no, I love yeah. it. I, I really love it. We do. You have given us the Liz Loves, which is fantastic, just so that you, if you want to go and check out. Um, AskwithLondon.com is the website. And Liz Loves, all in capitals, all one word, you know the drill. Um, that gets you 15% off everything. 20, I believe. Oh, 20, my friend. Thank you. I believe 20. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, this and one... And it's, it's International Yoga Day as yes. well today. Yes, who knew? I did not Perfect know that. Timing. And around the world, Global International Yoga Day. Is it? Global <laughs> yeah, International yeah. Yoga Day. Well, yeah. I love doing um, yoga in your yoga and Pilates wear, but actually I find that I, once you put this on, you don't actually want to take it off because it's so incredibly comfortable. Yeah. So well made, you know, the, the seams are all in the right place. It kind of the leggings they do something quite magical they they kind of hold you in i feel trimmer yes. in in the leggings they these, look great. Th these are a small but you you cut them really well so they're kind of like they come up high here which which i they're like very, so, and they're flattering on your bottom as well which is always a good thing all right but it's always a very good thing and yeah they just sort think of so. suck everything in so are they made out of bamboo what's the fabric that you use for your leggings <laughs> So it's a blend of bamboo, uh, organic cotton and elastane, so you've got that bit of stretch. I just wanted nice. to develop a style and a fabric. It's, um, I trademarked it. 
Um, really? It's a fabric that's unique to us. So it's it's breathable, but it's also completely natural, except for the elastane, so you've got the stretch. So they hold yeah. you in. But they really do. It's like it's like doing things, yoga in Spanx, really comfy it's, Spanx. It's better for your skin as well, particularly oh. down there. You know, it's very important to have breathability. And the problem yes. with synthetics is it's really bad for your body. And I know with you, everything in your world is all about well-being. And I think it's one of those things yeah. that is such a glossed over in the world of active wear. Natural leggings and breathability, I think, is really important. You're absolutely um, right, especially if you're spending any time in them and you're, you know, you're working up a bit of a sweat and you, you need to have that breathability. Oh, my goodness, yeah. you've got so many fans here on Instagram. Kate is saying, oh, my favourite nice. in Capitals brand of gym kit. Absolutely, yeah, they are so soft. They really are good. Yeah, honestly, seriously, Alexia, they are really, really good. Do you sell in shops, we're being asked, or are you all online? We sell primarily online overseas in more stores. Mm -hmm. And I've just noticed um, I'm less good at multitasking than you, but I can spot the sizing questions. We got to 18, 20. Fantastic. And yeah, on your website, and, and actually, design, you're, you're, you're very inclusive on your website. Very You've inclusive. got, and, you know, all sizes represented. Flatter, so, you know, it shows neck bones, covers up bits of you and your top of arms that you might want to cover up. Tommy's tops are long enough. Yes. Um, oh, my goodness. This is one that I've just got, which I love. Well, two tops, actually. This is from your new collection. This is a really, really pretty one. So this is sort of almost like a tie dye, but a little bit more sophisticated. And then yeah. it ties at the front. A little tie at the front. So you actually, you know, you can move in it and it gives you a bit of shape. And again, the breathability, the softness, such a pretty colour too. So I that's like that. in bamboo, which is our other fabric, which is a blend of 95% bamboo, 5% elastane, which is perfect for this time yeah. of year and the summer um, yeah. because it's completely breathable. And once again, Amazing. unlike synthetics, it's much better for your skin as well yeah. and is much more comfortable in hotter weather because... It's sweat wicking. So a lot nice. of synthetics, you probably have this, Liz. You know, if you sweat, um, which I know you do, serious hit. If you sweat in hit and you're wearing a synthetic, it stays on your skin it's and really clothes start to smell. With natural plant-based fabrics, it wicks away the moisture. And it's mm. better if you've got a skin condition or, you know, if yep. you just want to feel comfortable in your active wear. It's so much better for your skin um, and for your body. Yeah. And it feels nicer. It's so, it so feels good. You put it on and you actually want to work out. You actually want to be a bit active because it allows you that comfort and that freshness. This is also a really lovely design and it feels, oh, very, very, nice. feels very modern, actually, the if you put this vest. on because you've got the yeah. gathered. Is that what it's called? A gathered vest? A gathered vest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once here. again, that's long enough so it covers your tummy. Yes, nice. Do like Which that. I think, you know, you have to think about these things. And, and I think the, the Yeah, not everyone fabrics, wants body body con, especially if you're absolutely. working out, if you're going to a class. You want something that's just a little bit more forgiving here. Look at that. It's yeah. so beautifully. It's yeah. lovely. So it can cover your, your bottom if you want it to be covered. See, if you're doing yoga and you're in front of somebody, you're not worrying about whether someone's looking at your knickers or your bottom. <laughs> you're, you're focusing on what you're doing. That's the thing. That's sort of why I started in the first place, because... Yeah. I just thought that, that fabrics, when I started 20 years ago now, it was all about synthetics and sportswear was only synthetic, which to me seemed crazy, particularly mm. for a yoga and Pilates. Who wants to wear something nylon and, mm. and synthetic for your yoga and Pilates practice or for fitness? I mean, I do a lot mm. of um, spinning and, uh, you know, uh, and the, the, the clothes, when I come out of the gym, it's absorbed the moisture, yes. you know, so it doesn't sit against your skin again, which is really nice. Yes, yeah. There's lots and lots of great comments. Obviously, a lot of fitness people are hopping online and, and having a look. Um, what's your background then? Did you start in fitness before going into fashion or were you fashion first? Neither. It would have been really useful if I'd done something related. <laughs> <laughs> I like many people, you know, that have absolutely no relevant experience. I was actually working as a crime researcher, well, I was in the music business and film business, then I worked as a crime researcher for Linda LaPlante for about mm. seven years. 
and wow and then, what a job well it was but it was it was death murder you know yeah. destruction it got a bit depressing but yeah. i loved it um and she's mad as a snake but brilliant uh, to work for but I, I just got to the stage where i i was doing more yoga to switch off and i just thought hold on a second this is when I sort of realized that the only clothes available were all synthetic. And I had just mm. grown up with a background of, you know, we kept our own hens. My mum uh, spun our wool. Oh, we had lovely. all our clothes made for us. And they were always beautiful, natural fabrics when we were yes. little girls. And um, so I just thought, actually, I could do something here. And then my grandmother, who was a, a great inspiration for me, very suddenly died, left me some money. And I just, and I'd always loved fashion. I used to sit on her knee and look through Vogue together. Actually, I remember, oh. this is a standout memory for me. I remember looking through Vogue with my granny and there was a picture of a fur coat. And I remember being horrified. And I said, what, what's that made from, granny? And she said, hamsters. Hamsters. And I remember thinking, my God, how many hamsters? And I had hamsters at the time. Sorry to talk about your poor gerbil, but yes. it just made me think. And, and so I just thought, you know, I want to make beautiful, responsible, lasting clothing mm. that will work for yoga and Pilates, but also just wearing. So when I get home from my then it was TV job, I can ch change into something comfy, but yes. still look nice. It's not yes. at, at the time. It was like Chelsea territory. <laughs> You're so, so right. <laughs> You're so right. And actually, you know, it has come a long way in that it's much more acceptable now to wear, you know, leisure wear, active wear all the time, yeah. you know, to literally live in it. But of course, you only want to live in it if it's well made, it looks beautiful and it's really comfortable. And the fabrics are, as you say, natural, sustainable, let your, you know, let your skin breathe. I think that's really important, particularly for women as we age. And temperature regulation can be a little bit Absolutely. off sometimes. Absolutely. And, and you know, uh, uh, I'm very menopausal and experiencing hot flushes. And actually, bamboo is amazing yeah, for that best, it? because it is breathable and it's moisture wicking. And I made an interesting, fairly recent discovery that a lot of polyester is actually made out of oil. So you're putting something like that against your skin, which who would choose to do that? It's like yes. nibbling on a carrier bag. You know, it's not a great idea. <laughs> Oh, well, when you started Asquith 20 years ago, you must have been really at the forefront of all of this, because I think people are becoming a bit more aware now, sustainable fashion, the problem with fast fashion. And I was reading even that when you wash things that are like made of nylon or polyester, um, every time you wash them in the washing machine, you're releasing micro particles of plastic into the water supply yeah. through your washing. Absolutely. I mean, that Absolutely. is just hideous, isn't it? I mean, we all know that about plastic bottles. Quiet. What about plastic clothing? Absolutely. So imagine if, if what it's doing to the oceans, what it's doing to your body. Um, when mm. I started, I have to say, it was, I didn't really think about it. I was a bit odd at the time because everyone thought, oh, natural sportswear, that's a bit strange. Um, but for me, with natural fabrics, it just felt like the right thing to do. Yeah. And then I made in, you know, lovely factories and that was just by choice because i wanted to know where the garments came from um and we didn't really know about sweatshops in in those days and no. then of course uh, you know so it was all a bit sort of hair shirt back in those days but um and then you i just sort of got used to it and i was accepted for doing you know asquith was probably at the forefront of you know natural and sustainable fabrics but to me it was just making quality clothes that lasted and wore well but yeah. you know to your point about fast fashion i think most people now are very well educated after the rana plaza you know the bangladeshi disaster yes. where something like 1300 people died people oh. started to question why you know why are these people getting so paid so little in terrible circumstances yeah, working and in these sweatshirts how can a garment shopping. be sold for five pounds yeah. in a and other shop what what will the person be um making that made that garment yeah. you know and, and and people started questioning it and i think that made a that was a massive change i think it was mm. what, 2013 so 
fast fashion has changed, not quickly enough, but at least people are now becoming more aware that something cheap, what are the people getting paid? Yeah. And it's, you know, in its life cycle, it's probably going to end up in a charity shop if it's lucky or in landfill, in landfill. more likely. Yeah, yeah. And these things, they don't last. And, you know, they, no. they just get chucked out. And then, as you say, they end up in landfill. And, of course, if it's not made of a sustainable fabric, it's just going to be there. I remember um, Prince Charles Absolutely. did something. He's very pro-wool uh, and natural wool coming, obviously, from, from sheep that have to be shorn because their fleeces, you know, it's too hot for them in the summer. So it's a really lovely, natural, sustainable material. And he did something, uh, I think it was at Clarence House, where they buried a wool sweater and then they buried a similar sweater made out of I don't know some kind of you know some synthetic yarn and they dug them up again six months later literally just six months and the wool sweater had virtually disintegrated it was just yeah. part of the the humus of the soil there were you know worms and you know the whole thing was just sort of regenerating and just going back to the land uh, whereas the, the synthetic one, you could have just, you know, washed it out and it was still there. And it it st it'd still be there in a thousand years' time. You know, I mean, it's, yeah. what, what we're doing is, uh, is, is extraordinary. Victoria says she's got to leave now for her hit class. We'll catch up later. Wish I had an Asquith outfit to wear. There yeah. you go. <laughs> you I, need... I, I admire people like my you for doing it. I've tried. I, I don't like it. I, I find my excuse is I went to an osteo and he said, don't run or do hit. It's bad for your knees. I was like, yes. <laughs> well, I do hit because I find it hugely effective. Um, and I just don't have very much time in the day. And if I can do it all in 15 minutes, yeah, you know, that's a big tick in the box. Tick. And then I just get on with something else. I wish I had more Can time. I think the thing is, it's moving, isn't it? Keep, keep moving regularly. People say that sitting is the worst thing for us. And I totally agree with that. I try and do something. I do that stretches and, and yoga every day because I think it's important. I know you do too. Yeah. And that's another reason why I think multifunctionality is very important. And to your point um, about plant-based fabrics as well, is not only is it mm. comfortable and, and breathable, but when I design things with the fabrics that I use, they are designed to last. And that oh. is another key area of sustainability is creating product which is timeless in its design and styling and it lasts so you can wash and wear and it doesn't yeah. you know uh, fade or bubble or stretch and to, yeah, to it holds its shape really well doesn't doesn't it's doesn't really come out important. of shape yeah doesn't come out of shape actually i'm just going to grab um a couple of things that um come with your lovely fashion uh, packaging Carry on talking because I want to show you. Is it sustainable packaging? Yeah. Whilst it's away, I'll just. It is packaging. Uh, yep. I, hope, I hope she might. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got my packaging here. So I kept this to show everybody. Oh, you're so good. You keep everything. Um, well, a couple of the things that you do. Firstly, you tell us how to wash it, which is really yes. important. You say basically um, give it the sniff test, which yep. is very good. Uh, and then you wash it, you wash it at a much lower temperature. Yeah, 30 degrees flat dry. And I find as well that that's another thing with plant-based is that it doesn't, it doesn't smell so much because the fabric um, uh, is, is much better against your skin and yes. it absorbs the moisture. So the sweat um, wicks away so it doesn't stay in the, cl in the clothes. No, no you, you really don't feel quite as smelly, I don't think, after a after a hard workout and this so it all comes in these little bags here and this says incredibly the bag you're holding is made from corn sugar cane and potatoes 100 percent renewable sustainable materials completely compostable and biodegradable we're proud to say that all of our packaging is now completely plastic free isn't that amazing yep yep and all our swing tags when we send catalogs our postcards um, because it's 
it's not only about the people that work in our factory, um, who, who I know the factory owner very well. We've been in the same factory for eight years. Um, mm. They have their own extremely nice uh, roof terrace where they all eat their lunch, and they mm. have their own canteen. The food is amazing. It's really. Inter- um, oh, but, in Turkey, so, I had the most amazing food in Turkey not that long ago. Oh, it was delicious. Oh, Can't wait to go salads. back. Yeah, oh. yeah. But, but also, you know, they look after their staff. They look after what happens to the dyes that they use. They're not chemical dyes. They're more natural dyes, so they're better yeah. for your skin. Um, but also, in terms of the the packaging, what we're trying to do. It's just it's an extra way of looking after the environment because yes. I think, to me, very simply, I think sustainability is a big word that a lot of people don't really know what it means, and I don't mean to say that in a patronising way, mm. Mm. but I think it it can be. There's many aspects to it, and it's basically about being mindful to the planet and how you treat it and how you leave it behind, yeah. down to Prince Charles's sweater. Yes, you know which is so important. So what I'm trying to do now is we're producing a, a for spring, summer 23, a collection which is based on repurposed fabrics. Mm. So upcycle fabrics, it's leftover fabric that our factory has. So we're not being wasteful in fabrics. We're using up old fabrics that exist. So trying to, right. it's called closing the loop, trying to reduce our yeah. impact on the planet in terms of, you know, everything from packaging to plant-based to um, recycled materials, all the things that we've discussed, and to using repurposed fabrics as well. And we're also doing a launching a campaign whereby I knew the postman would ring while I was of course, on the phone. Always happens. Absolutely. I literally left a note. You and go. I thought, no, no, he'll be fine. You go, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll chat. Mustn't miss that. Are you sure? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He's, you he's go. <laughs> No, 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 you go. This is also <laughs> something else. I've, oh. Hi. <laughs> um, look, so this is a lovely drapey thing, which is just so good for travelling as well. I'm just, I'm just showing everyone your lovely drapey thing. Oh, uh, yes. Which, which has almost like a cowl neck. In fact, I'm going to see if I can slip this on over the top. Um, this was, I think this was maybe last year. Do you still have these? That was two, was two years, years ago. ago, maybe, wrap cardigan. I We always do a wrap most seasons, yeah. That's nice on you, that colour. I know you're a pink person a lot, I do tend you? to be a pink person, but... You know, again, it's the generosity of the fabrics that I really like and the fact that this, you know, look, it comes all the way down. Yeah, so, I hate mean. I don't like mean in clothing. Like I'm not mean. saying I make things baggy, but, oh, that's a lovely colour on you. Yeah, I do like grey. I'm quite quite into my neutrals. Yeah, Goes yeah. With lots well, of they're easy to wear and you can mix jeans. and match with brights, I mm. think, can't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It Which goes is with nice. neutrals. Which... And you have lots of brights. Somebody's asking about brights. This is a really nice little top. I've been wearing this. Yes. Um, look at that for bright. Great neckline. Peace, peace bra, that is. So Love no that. phone cups because they're synthetic and most people just throw them away. But they're yeah. very supportive. And I think, yeah, this I is don't super know whether supportive. you find this, Liz, but so many people now have been wearing just regular bras, less underwire bras, because yeah. those sort of bras are so much more comfortable and they've yeah. got decent support. Yeah. Yeah, this is really fabulous. I mean, it's it's almost. I think it, uh, is it all double thickness? So this uh, this feels yes, that, like double like double thickness it's... on the front and double thickness on the back. Yeah, yeah. on the so back. So it does provide really good support and a nice big thick comfortable band. And yeah. just just the way that you cut everything, you know, it just feels everything drapes properly. It feels really feminine. You're emphasising people's shapes. Yeah, well, I think it's important. You don't want to take it off. You really don't want to take it off, even after you've exercised. And it makes you want to move. So you can't see my legs here, but, you know, I'm sitting here in your lovely leggings, which feel really comfy. And it makes me want to move. I feel really supported. You know, I can jig about. I can move around. And, you know, I'm not not constrained by my clothes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Unrestricted is very important, I think, because... You, you know, when you're when you're doing whatever it is you're doing, be it hit 
cardio, um, spin, yoga, Pilates. It's nice to just enjoy the practice that you're doing rather than worrying about pulling things down. I love the way you just casually put things on your Well, I'm just going, yeah, go on then. I'm, I just want to show your lovely things. Obviously, you probably wear this one on its That's own. That's nice, of you. But, um, yeah, I just want to show you the way that it works because it looks... These things always look so much better on. Yeah, it's you know, true. And it gives you a little bit of a waist there. And you could wear that over something or just on its own. I'm really looking forward, actually, when I go travelling this summer, I'm going to be taking a whole load of Asquith with me because they don't oh, crease. I was just... Yeah, I They're was just great for travelling. If you're travelling, boat, plane, and, train... And it's really breathable. So, you know, you have that minute where you get on the plane... And it's about, you know, it's sauna temperature. And then it goes to subarctic. <laughs> and then it comes back to sauna again. You never quite know, do you? You so... never quite know. So bamboo is perfect for that. And you don't look like a dog's dinner when you get the other side because yeah. it doesn't crease as well. And the knees don't go baggy, which I think is very important. We do lots of testing do on you? all the fabrics. Yeah. And so... then I think, um, oh... <laughs> This is, this is also a, a very pretty one. See, that's the, that, that's the top. That's the gathered yeah. top. Let me stand back and you can wear that over a bra so it looks pretty. Yeah. And there's lots of... I've just seen someone's comments about looser fitting. Yes, we've got lots of less okay. bigger hugging pieces. We're very well known for our um, uh, looser bamboo tops, of which yeah. I know you've got a few. The B Grace Batwing, which is... Love fragile. the Batwing. I was, I was, I was wearing I was wearing the bat wing this morning. In fact, I was going to wear it for the live, um, and then I tipped yogurt over it, so it's now in the wash. Ah. So, sorry about that. I didn't mean to, obviously, tip yogurt <laughs> over it. <laughs> but yeah, I have I have a whole drawer, big big drawer, full of asquith because that's the thing. It just lasts. You don't want to, you know, ever throw it away or pass it on. It's, um, yeah. You know. Ideally, that's so. We are setting up, actually, as part of the sustainability <laughs> programme, we're setting up a uh, a recycle as well mm. so that in the autumn so that people will be able to send us their product and we will be able to recycle it. We'll give them a gift badge in return so that we'll keep nice. it in circulation. We're working with a, um, a brilliant organisation called We're Second Life Fashion and they will resell on the product. So that's more about keeping product alive. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also working with a company called Ecology, whereby for every order um, that is placed, we plant a tree. Oh my goodness. Which You're I doing think so is much. I'm so impressed. We Tell me. <laughs> you have your own forest, the Asquith Forest. <laughs> Tell me about the importance of organic cotton. You know, we, we hear a lot about organic food, and I think people realise that eating pesticides is not perhaps the best idea for the body. How yeah. important is it that we wear and use organic cotton? Well, I think it's it's very important because cotton is grown, as we all know, is, is huge in T-shirts and jeans, um, but the issue with cotton is it uses a lot more water to grow and pesticides. And the point with organic cotton is it's much better for the soil and for the farmers, uh, mm. for their crops and for your skin. Um, so it looks after the planet much more. Um, and it's you know you can trace it what we're trying to do is is make sure that we've got certification for all our products from beginning middle to end same mm -hmm. thing with bamboo which doesn't take any water to grow as anyone knows who's had bamboo in their garden it you must have some bamboo to you somewhere i have some bamboo in london yeah it grows like crazy, doesn't yeah, it? You once you've got it, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> no, and you you have to commit to bamboo. For anyone wanting to buy bamboo clothing, great idea. Bamboo plants, big commitment. <laughs> right. Yes. So yeah, that makes it, it much more like sustainable. That. Then that makes so it's more sustainable because um, it doesn't take any water to grow. It regrows, as we all know, very very quickly. It's very easy to harvest. It does take some chemicals in the processing, but most fabrics do. Mm -hmm. But it is still a very soft um, so and soft. sustainable fabric. Yeah. Uh, and, and that is what we use for our, our leggings, which you're 
wearing um, bamboo, organic cotton and elastane, which is a really nice um, blend of yeah. legging. And they're, for us, hugely popular. You must be one of the first to use bamboo as a fabric. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, I came across it, funny enough, through nightwear. And I remember thinking, this is before I was pairing menopausal, so I didn't really think very much about it, because until it happens to you, you don't really think much about it. No, you don't. <laughs> and then suddenly you go, oh, I think I need something that's a bit like, wicking. <laughs> we are doing bamboo nightwear, actually, at the moment, because... I, and I do think it's perfect for, for menopause hot sweats because, yeah. you, you know... Well, even just when you're getting hot. I mean, I'm on HRT, yeah. so I don't get hot sweats, but I do get hot, you know, and with the, yeah. the you know, the much, much hotter evenings um, and hotter nights, it's like, phew, even yeah. if the window's open, it can be quite balmy. So, so yes, I think bamboo um, nightwear is a big thing. And I love it as a fabric. You know, it's, it retains its colour and its shape. Right. Um, it's very drapey. Well, you know, it feels yes. like silk on. It's really yeah. comfy. Yeah, um, really is. So, and it's very easy to look after. And as you rightly pointed out, you can wash it low temperature, yeah. um, and it will retain its shape. And um, so yeah, it's, well. a good, it's a good hard working fabric. But also, uh, yeah. the shirt I'm wearing is Tencel. So uh, tell us about skin. Tencel. Does Tencel is that that's a wood pulp, isn't it? Is it from trees? It, yeah. Exactly that. It's wood pulp, um, and that is another good fabric. It softens uh, the more that you wear it. It retains its colour, its shape. It's um, uh, made by a company called Lensing, and they've trademarked it. It's quite expensive to buy, um, but nice. it's a wonder fabric, and I'm developing more products involving Tencel organic cotton as well as a recycled Gosh. fabric collection because, you know, I just want to move forward further into plant-based and, and take it a step forward, basically. Yeah. Fantastic. So what are your best sellers? Presumably your leggings because they're so well cut. Yeah, bras and leggings, um, and actually, uh, we do a soft um, palazzo pant. Those sell incredibly well. Our live fast pants, which is a straight leg pant, because not yeah. everybody loves leggings, no. and we do those in different leg lengths, which I know is another issue for many people. Yeah, it's great that you have different leg lengths. Yeah, but I also think if you're really if you're pear shaped. To be, you know, and you've got bigger hips and you've got slimmer ankles. Legging is not the most flattering. So I always try no. and think what would work for different sizes and proportions. It's very important. And a lot of people like a straight leg rather than a legging. But also they need to be not too flared because if you're doing Pilates, you don't want to get into a tangle with a reformer. No, no quite right. Yeah, you need something that's sort of quite neat at the, yeah, uh, around but, the ankle. Our tops as well, you know, our uh, bamboo t-shirts, the wraps such as the one you're wearing or the one you held up earlier, the smoothie tea, those yeah. are very popular because they're flattering, they've got a, a, a dart down the back, so they're simple detailing, but they're just really easy to, to wear. And if you're having a tummy day, as I often do, and you're feeling a bit swollen tummy, I do read, oh, yeah. I always read all your information about... Um, you know, kimchi and fermented products. I just yeah. wish I liked vinegary things. I've yet to find something fermented that isn't too tart. Do you know yeah, what I mean on the I palate? I do. I do know what you mean. I think actually it's about having little and often not really having that much. So you could have a little bit of kimchi, you know, a little bit of pickled cabbage you can make yourself. You don't need much. I mean, a teaspoon is okay, you know, brilliant. just and just put that in <laughs> mix that into your salad so you can barely taste it. I mean they say that a teaspoon of kimchi has over a billion different beneficial bacteria. Wow. So you don't need a lot. I must try harder. I used to start my day every with apple cider vinegar every morning and water and yes. then every morning I'd be like you know, I'd have to focus on something really hard because it was so unpleasant. I'll, I'll try again with kimchi because I know it's so good for your digestion. And kombucha as well. Do you like kombucha? Have you tried my kombucha? Because you see, Love that's it. so good. Yeah. And that's yeah, a yeah. really good alternative as well because that's giving you the, the good probiotics in the drink. 
Yes. No, I, do, I mean, I've read, of course, you, I've read your, your book, um, the menopause book, and looked at all the recipes, and I keep thinking, you know, there's a voice in my head going, eat more kimchi, eat oh. more fermented foods. So I, I will listen to that voice, and I will... Small, and actually, Pen here has these. just reminded us on Instagram that microbes is very good first thing. Have you seen the microbes liquids? No. So I've talked about them before. It's a lovely family firm in Somerset, and they make these amazing liquids out of soil microbes. We've also got oh, Liz wow. Love's discount on them. And oh, okay. you just need to have a spoonful in the morning. It tastes a little bit like apple cider vinegar. You can have it on its own, or you can mix it in with something else. And it's seriously good. Seriously oh, good. Oh, wow. Okay. Do, do, oh, well, do, do go and take a look. I mean, microbes with a Z at the end. Microbes. Yes, yes. Well, I happened to, I spotted um, one yeah. of your colleagues saying that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, I, I actually don't think I could do kimchi for breakfast. Oh, that's a step too far. Mm -hmm. Ches Slater saying that microbes cured her daughter's leaky gut. Brilliant. Wow. Uh, lots, yeah, microbes have got lots of fans. So The power of plants can never be underestimated. It's all there, you know, it's all there it's in all nature. It's all there, diet isn't and it? clothes, it's all there. It's all there, it's all being provided for, we just need to unlock it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My mother used to say when we were little, she used to look at us in the eye and go, sugar is a drug, very seriously. She was very forward thinking because she even was, now a lot of medics still won't acknowledge the fact that it's so inflammatory. She, she was, and she used, to, she used to harp on about gut health all the time. I mean, I must be mm. the only child that went to school on, you know, yogurt and molasses and wheat germ. Um, you know, I used to look at, my Brilliant. friend used to have Rice Krispies, and I'd be like, mm. but then, of course, no. what goes around comes around, and now I'm a very healthy eater, and um, I wouldn't touch a Rice Krispie if you... Uh, put it in my face <laughs> so. it's a really hard one isn't it i find as, as a parent it's really hard you know with my boys home trying to get them to eat healthily and you know they just want cereal for breakfast and i'm just saying oh can you just have some eggs you know can you just start off yeah. make you some scrambled eggs i'll do you some i don't know some avocado on some sourdough or whatever and they just say i just want a bowl of cheerios it's like oh no please so but we, we often strike deals you can out. have a bit of this and then you can have a bit of that later I bet they'll turn around and they'll probably, you know, in five years' time, they'll probably be teetotal, vegan, plant-based. Well, I hope they uh, won't be know, that, but yes, I mean, they, they certainly, <laughs> they certainly hopefully <laughs> will be, you know, eating, eating well. And yes, you're right. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it does. It takes a bit of time. And I think maybe boys um, are maybe less receptive to it. I don't know. I don't know. That's a massive generalisation, but... Um, you know, I'm I'm getting there. But actually, my, my middle boy, Kit, he's become a bit more body conscious and he realises that he needs his protein, um, you know, to, to build muscle and to feel fit and active and because he's growing so fast. You know, these yeah, teenagers, yeah. They, they need it. And I think he, he feels so much better, actually, if he stays off the carbs. <laughs> Absolutely. But I, I think plant-based and, and, you know, protein you know, is just the most amazing starting point for food and drinking plenty of water constantly. Lots of water. Got mine, got mine here. Cheers. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so what's next for you then? So you're working on a new collection now. You're already working on 2023, are you? We're about to shoot 2023 next week. Gosh. I have already designed autumn, winter 23. Really? That's over yeah. a year away. So what, what, well, what can we look forward to? What's the colour palette for next year? Um, colour palette, it's uh, blues, some oranges. Nice. Uh, it, it's interesting because I have to think of obviously, you know, we, you and I have similar skin tones. I'm very much spring, summer colours. But uh, it's very hard because there's a lot of different colour palettes that one needs to think about. So there's sure. autumn, winter colourways, which... You know, it might be oranges, it might be purples, it might mm. be dark greens. So I need to think about fairer skin, darker skin, what suits different colorings. And also, yeah. generally in, in bottoms, one wants to wear often darker colors. Although I now, always wear a dark color. You're not going to get me into a pair of you know, no. multicolored print leggings. I just think that's going to enhance all my worst bits. It's interesting, I think, because a lot of people see them as a camouflage, a print. 
you know, when I started okay. to print, legging was just a, an anathema. Yeah. Printed legging. Printed you know, legging, it just wasn't what? done. In fact, leggings weren't as popular either. It was straight trousers. And then we went through a phase of doing, don't know if you remember, the very low-rise leggings, oh. which left, which were you know, not suitable to anyone over the age of about 15. Yes. And thankfully, we've come full circle and we're now doing comfortable... Yeah, these, well, these, these are great. These, these, these come right up here. They I go. Love them. They go right up. Right up. Really super comfy. And as because I say, like I'm spikes, sure they hold you in. I've got the high-waisted leggings, because we do oh, high-waisted, which meet your bra as well. Oh, no, this isn't that high. I, the I, 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 yeah. I do, I do, these are the regular ones. I do have a pair of your high-waisted which I do really but, like too. Um, because I think you nice know, with a long flowing shirt like over the top. Bras, yeah, exactly. So you can wear a bra um, and a high waisted legging. Yeah, which is a nice, which is a nice look, and it makes you feel kind of liberated but held in at the same time. That's yeah, so a really good come point. With a matching legging, which I guess you haven't got. <laughs> I haven't got the pink one. No, I haven't gone quite bold enough to They're get. They're great. The, Actually, for, for we're legging. giving away. Um, with every orchid piece sold, we're giving away some money to the Eve Appeal. Yes, tell is... us about that, because I love the Eve Appeal. It'd be nice to yeah, it's a great, well, it's a gynecological uh, ca uh, charity, and we're just very happy to be able to support them. I think yeah. we like to be able to work with, um, uh, you know, we, we did something recently with the Prince's Trust, um, organisations and charities that help... Um, women and mm. you know help educate I don't mean that in a patronizing way but yeah. I just mean to, to help people understand more about uh, their their bodies their health their well-being and I think the Eve appeal are great on that score yeah, yeah. Um, so and, and as you do I know with your you have a, a lot of important charities that you support as well don't you well with, unfortunately with there's a lot of need always you know so yeah. it's it's nice to connect I, I try and focus on the ones that have humanitarian um benefits and, and interests particularly with women's health for sure yeah i think that's been overlooked for way way too long absolutely and i think you know we're both in fortunate positions where we have a platform to help and support yeah. and we we did that asquith did that in lockdown i like to think we offer a lot mm. of classes well, we still do mm. um particularly as it's international yoga day on our yep. website you know if you if you want a 15 minute class and like a lot of people well not that we can anyone can actually go anywhere today because the women oh. rail strike but <sighs> you know so if you want to do something from home it's great to have classes so we do offer classes on social media um Brilliant. yeah yeah and try and support people because yeah. we're, we're in a very That's fortunate nice. position we're very grateful to our customers supporting us and and you know mm. 20 years it's nice to be able to give back to people too 20 years well very I very know. happy birthday for 20 <laughs> years you. you're Thank doing you an amazing amazing job 20 oh, years 20 percent discount so we're thrilled with that yes and liz, liz loves but liz i think loves. that's your that's, code that you use. That is, that's Liz the magic code. 20% off. Yeah. Your magic code. The magic, the magic code. And magic I have to wear. say this. So this is inspired from the Japanese floral. A print, Japanese floral. It? Yeah, I just love Japanese uh, blossoms. So pretty. So pretty. I was at this exhibition in Copenhagen. I, I tend to be inspired, you know, walks or plants somewhere or nice. a floor tile. A print I did was a floor tile at the V&A, um, which I absolutely love. It's my yeah. spiritual home. And, um, you know, all sorts of inspiration. Uh, I just keep a lookout for things. But I, I just, nice. I thought that print was nice because it's mm. not too in your face it's quite elegant and quite soft absolutely i'm not usually a print person i'm usually into planes uh, but the minute i put this on i thought oh my goodness i really like this and it's yeah and stylish it's, it and goes elegant. well with navy and we do mm. a lot of navy people tend to yeah. focus on blacks a lot of the time and actually yeah. black can be quite draining particularly yeah, as you get right. also yeah and navy is much more um forgiving and, and works equally as well with yeah. uh with colors be it brights be it neutrals you know that top you can you're team a lot with with navy can't you i like navy and yeah. pink you know pale pink bright pink 
Absolutely, and navy and denim. You know, we do a lot of navy tops nice. as well as navy pants. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I have my colours done, and I, I'm not allowed to wear black. Um, yeah. yeah, I know that was that was a blow, but uh, I squirreled yeah. away a few pieces. But generally, navy looks looks better on me. And you, I know, yeah. are drawn to pink, aren't you? I am, I am, and it's the Lizzo Wellbeing brand colour is is yeah. pink. There's just something about pink. I find it a joyful colour and I find, you know, it reflects in your skin, whatever your skin tone. And it's just, it's uplifting, you know, and it's being in the pink. Yes, so. I agree. And I think, it, also, I think it's a beautiful, soft, feminine colour. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with celebrating your, your femininity. femininity. Yeah, I agree with you. Alice, it's lovely to chat. Thank you. Well, Thank you for so being nice. with us today. Happy International Yoga Day. Thank you, and to you, birthday. and to everyone out there. Yeah, thank you. You're going to have to click off, because if I click, then I run the risk of okay, clicking everybody. Okay, I need to figure out where to click. <laughs> Very nice to have seen you anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much, Liz, and I will... Hold on, I need to find your instructions. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> You're quite all right. <laughs> so just as a little recap there, so that's asquithlondon.com. Uh, and celebrate their 20 years of sustainable fashion. They've given us 20% off. Isn't that great? So Liz Loves gets you 20% off. And um, while we're talking about fashion, actually, I just wanted to mention a couple of other things because we do have these travel wraps. Anybody got their Liz Earl Wellbeing travel wrap? This is one that I designed uh, with this amazing sustainable cashmere company up in Scotland. So if you are thinking about heading off your travels, travel wraps, this is one of my favourites. This is another of my favourites. This lovely herringbone one, they are just amazing to have for your travels. And I've built up a very small collection over the years. My family know that if I've got a special birthday or Christmas, they club together and they buy me a travel wrap. So if you are thinking about your travel wardrobe for the summer, then you can get 10% off those with thetravelwrapcompany.com. And also talking about wardrobe and wardrobe care, lots of you are commenting at the moment that you're having an outbreak of moth particularly if you are looking after things like cashmere and wools. Don't forget total wardrobe care. A couple of things just to remind you of. One is the Moth Decoy, which is an amazing little packet of a natural moth, well, it's a repellent. I dropped it on the floor. There you go, let me show you what it looks like. Um, it actually sterilizes the moths. This is what it looks like. I have these in my bedroom. I have these uh, in my cupboards. So you get this little pellet here that the moth land on and they get their little feet coated with this and that actually stops them from breeding and it stops the larvae cycle because it's the larvae that hatch out that eat the holes in your fabrics. So if you can stop the larvae from hatching, it doesn't kill the moth, it just stops the little larvae from, um, from being created. So it's completely safe very sustainable and I absolutely love it so I think oh thank you very much Rachel you've popped a, a discount code off um, that's that's 10% off everything at Total Wardrobe Care not only that actually oh thank you very much for Rachel you've just noticed here that that code is only valid until the 30th of June so 30th of June you have don't tell me that I didn't warn you okay so 30th of June that discount code then goes but also on Total Wardrobe Care, you'll find their packing cubes. And I love these. These are game changers. They all fit neatly into one another. And you literally, you just take them out and you, I put everything into these. You know, you can put your underwear, you can have your toiletries, you can have swimwear, you can have makeup. I've got one that I use for my makeup. And they are just genius. Anybody else got packing cubes? Honestly, you think you will not know what I'm raving about until you've actually tried them. Once you have tried them, you will not want to be without them. So you can thank me later. But don't forget, if you want to go to Total Wardrobe Care, that does run out at the end of the month. Um, GP Nutrition, lots of you have been asking about GP Nutrition. This is the Feel Great Fibre. Keeps you feeling fuller for longer. 
So this was with Gabriella Peacock. Anybody been trying this? Absolutely genius, sorting out gut issues, but also really good to have once or twice a day just to keep you feeling fuller so that you don't tend to overeat, takes away sugar cravings. Really good if you are looking to shape up a little bit in preparation for the summer. That is just about it for today. Um, a couple of you have commented on my books and it just reminded me that we do still have a very few of the yearbook two uh, and I am signing them and sending them out so there's just a few left spring summer autumn winter full of amazing recipes and botanical know-how and all sorts of ideas uh, herbal treats that you can make lots and lots of good things so that is a very very limited edition once those books have been sold that's it we're not printing any more it was an exclusive that we did for Liz our well-being you won't find it on online anywhere else or in any bookshop so if you would like to get your yearbook to head over to the website lizellwellbeing.com um, and I do sign them all and they will get sent out to you but once they have gone they have gone uh, I hope everyone has got their magazine because this is just about to go as well we're working on our new edition which will come out in the next couple of weeks so I hope that you are fully subscribed to get the new one. I've just been putting it to bed, as they say, in publishing terms, sending that off to the printers, and it's a beautiful edition for the summer, so I hope you love it. If you would like to subscribe, we do have the subscription gifts of the Body Firming Moisturiser from Olverum and the Body Polish, worth £58. You get these free with a subscription for the Liz Our Wellbeing magazine, so if you haven't yet subscribed, now is a terrific time to do it or if you want to give a gift subscription and either have the gift sent to the person or keep the gift for yourself then that is also a very good time to get on the list uh, that's just about it for today so I'll be back with you on Thursday so Thursday we're going to be talking about gut health I'm going to be joined by Julia from Mighty Brew. Yes, we're going to talk about brewing up kombucha and making fermented foods. Really looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, there's lots going on. So don't miss back live on Thursday. Thank you very much for being with me today. Happy International Yoga Day. If you are a yogi, maybe you're getting into your leggings. Um, and uh, <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much for all your comments. That's really, really good. Um, lots of chat about Asquith. People absolutely loving the Asquith range. I love it too. It's a genuinely, genuinely good, ethical, sustainable fashion brand and lovely to have Alice with us today. Many congratulations to her and her team. That's just about it for today. Look forward to seeing you again, same time, same place on Thursday lunchtime or of course later on catch up. Until then, have a great few days. Lots of love. Bye-bye.